Yeah, thank you very much, Akisa Wandera. As we speak right now, I'm in Mumias. I've just left, uh, it's called uh, Shibare Shopping Center. Right behind there, there are slums where uh, police are alleged to have stormed there uh, yesterday night beating people mercilessly and, and their claims of even sexually assaulting women and many other atrocities uh, uh, in the name of uh, searching for the seven guns uh, which were stolen uh, early this week at Buka police station. Uh, there was a lot of tension there. People are saying that they are accusing the police uh, for being brutal in a manner at which they conducted the, 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 the search and, uh, uh, for the guns and are saying why that village which is about two kilometers from Buka police station, uh, why didn't they also go to other places rather than uh, choosing that place where, whereby they beat people and, and if, if they were looking for guns, was it necessary for them to beat people there? Uh, among the people who toured uh, uh, th th that area today is uh, uh, is uh, uh, Mwishimiwa Washiali, Ben Washiali, uh, MP for uh, Mumia's, uh, Mumia's East, Mumia's beg your pardon. Mwishimiwa Washiali, what's your take on what happened in, in as far as that, is, that, that, that uh, the police action is concerned? Uh, thank you, my brother Rashid. Uh, uh, I was among the leaders who visited uh, the police post in uh, Buka, where it is alleged that seven guns were stolen. And uh, we later on um, also met the security team led by the officer in charge of police in Kakamega County uh, who were in a meeting uh, trying to conduct the operations. And I want to say here clear that uh, I stand with the people uh, who have been uh, uh, manhandled uh, or rather uh, injured uh, during this operation. Uh, because we are aware that we have uh, three uh, ladies who were sexually assa assaulted, raped, and uh, we also have another case of a youthful um, uh, person who was, uh, whose hand was uh, broken and right now he's suffering, uh, he's admitted in St. Mary's. And uh, uh, truth be said, this is not the way we should go. I want to ask the, leader, the leadership of the police that uh, they must have a humane approach while they are uh, doing their operations because you cannot just involve everybody. In any case, in the case of Shibale, uh, rather the case of the loss of the seven guns, we are also asking as leaders, well, how could uh, our old police station be manned by just one police officer when in the Amari we had seven guns? We also found out that in that police station we have uh, only six officers, an inspector, a sergeant, and uh, four corporals. We are asking why, who was using the extra gun because officers use guns to do their, 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 their uh, keeping law and order. Therefore, we are asking questions that they are not able to answer us. But as this happens and it continues, we have actually asked them and we have agreed with the, with the, uh, the, the man, the commander of police in this county, that he should stop operations. He should give um, a civil approach to the entire exercise by engaging the NIS, by engaging the CID, and also the, bringing in the provincial administration and even the sniffer talk, dogs, because those ones really just hunt for the target, as opposed to yeah. as opposed to uh, people beating about the police beating about the civilians, and they have made people now they are not doing their own normal business. Yes, Akisa Wandera, you've heard from uh, uh, Benjamin Washali Mweshimiwa here. Uh, and of course, uh, a lot of activities happened here. Uh, Raila Amolodinga, the court leader, was here actually. Uh, and, and apparently, there, there happened to be a, a, a scaffold between uh, uh, Kakamega Governor Weekly for Paranya and uh, Honorable Washali. And, and actually, Raila Odinga could not even address the people there. Honorable Washali, what happened and, and why, why that kind of show? Uh, one, uh, Raila is a very senior politician in this country that we have to appreciate and accept. Uh, and uh, just for him to uh, march in to find us addressing uh, people of Shivale and trying to ask them to cooperate with the police, I think it was, that was lack of respect. Even if we are junior politicians or rather junior leaders to him, he should also accept that we've been elected by people from this region. This is Wangaland, and Wangaland has its own leaders, and those leaders must be respected because that's what the Wangans uh, decided. 
So him, he should have also notified the police because someone of that level of leadership we should have notified police. But for him to just have marched in, uh, I think it's uh, uh, quite unfortunate that it happened the way it did. And uh, when when people when people in this region are still crying about the performance of Mumias, which we know how their people also uh, manhandled, uh, uh, looted this company. Thank you very much, Akisa Wandera. You've had a lot of uh, accusation here, uh, rape cases and the rest. But we are going to follow up uh, just to unearth or to get the truth, the true picture of what happened at uh, Shivare slums here uh, uh, in Mumias. Back to you in the studio, Akisa. Thank you very much, uh, Rashid, for that. Uh, Rashid Ronald uh, joining us uh, from uh, Mumias, where he's just been speaking to Member of Parliament from Mumias East. That is Ben Washiali. That is a story, as he says. We continue to be following up on. But I